Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Welcome to lesson 13 on Piano for Beginners. Last week I showed you what all the three pedals on your keyboard do, if you have three pedals that is. But I also showed you which one we are going to use the most. And that is the pedal on your right side. So most likely you will use your right foot for that as well. Today I'm going to show you how to use that pedal. Most of the time, like you can actually choose how to use it, but how it's used most often and how to use it as a beginner, I think. Now, like I said in the last video, no matter if you play the notes first and then the pedal, like this, and then release, the sounds keep moving. If you press the pedal first and then the notes, so I press the pedal down, then play the notes, and release, it's basically the same effect. Now, in this example, it's not a difference because we only play one chord. It sounds the same, no matter if we play the notes first and release them after we press the pedal or if we press the pedal first and then play the notes and release them. It's the same effect. But we have three scenarios in which I can show you how to use it and how not to use it. If we play a couple of chords after one another, let's just use, for example, the C chord. The G chord, the A minor chord, and the F chord. Let's use these four chords after one another, like this. Now I'm not using a pedal, of course. Now, what would happen if I just press the pedal down whilst I'm just playing all these chords after one another without lifting the pedal? Let's, let's take a listen, like this. So I press it down and I play the four chords after one another. Now this sounds a little bit chaotic, right? That is because all the notes keep moving and it sounds really chaotic because all these notes are sounding together and it's not a clear sound, it's not clean. Now how can we separate those? That is by lifting up the pedal and pressing it down again. But when do we do that? Now there are a couple of different scenarios that I'll show you and you'll notice if it's correct or not. Now in all three scenarios, when I lift the pedal up, I'm going to press it down right away. And in the first scenario, I'm going to lift up the pedal before I play the next chord. Let's see how that sounds. Now we have this gap in between the chords. That is because when I play the notes and I release the keys and now I lift up the pedal, that sound stops, right? And that is not what we want. We just want the sound to keep moving. Now in the second scenario, let's lift up the pedal after I've already played the next chord. Let's try that, like this. Okay, so what you can notice now, if you listen carefully, is that every time I play a new chord, there is the opposite of a gap. Now it overlaps. So for a short moment, every time I switch a chord, you hear both chords mixed up together, which is not clean either. There's no gap, but now there's overlapping. So that's also not what we want. In the third scenario, that is what we actually want, is we lift up the pedal at the moment that we play the next chord. So not before, not after, we have to lift up the pedal at the exact moment that we play the next chord. Let's try that. That sounds a lot better, right? So that is actually how we will use the pedal. This is a very simple example, of course, but it will help you to understand how to use the pedal, how it works, how not to use it, and how you should use it. So I would try this with different chords, with different notes, and also like I did in this video, try all three scenarios and just experience the effect of that. And you will notice that this last method is the one that you'll be using uh, most of the time. Guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye.
that is the and that is the pedal on the right side of your and that is the pedal on the so most you if you like this so if I pre, no matter if we play the no matter if we play the notes first and release them ever no matter if we play now but we have three scenario but I have three scenarios to show now now this sounds a little bit chaotic and it doesn't really sound correct and it and it's it's now in the first scenario I'm going to rel and then press it down when I when I and then press it down again we have to lift up the pedal of the mo either and just try and and also and just experience and just experience the effect of also don't forget to check out my other that we lift 